the two months. Thank you to Demand out for the three months. Amazon or Tesla stock. I uh, I forgot that I play normal and not normal. Sorry, I play bad. Let's play the pride. Um, thank you to Rui Lopez for the ten bucks. I should have put me in legendary tier. Uh, uh, Mr. Rui Lopez de Seguera, you're you're a famous priest. Uh, I have a lot of respect for what you invented five hundred years ago. I do believe you are in the legendary tier, though, my friend. Um, I hope you're feeling well. Six hundred years later, I hope everything's all there upstairs and otherwise. Um, I hope you're doing well, my friend. But you are definitely um, you're definitely legendary, <laughs> especially in Grandmaster tier. In Grandmaster tier, especially, Rui Lopez is the the most uh, most legendary. Legendary, I think it's like second after. No, it's not secondary. It is just the most legendary. Um, thank you to, to Heart eighty five thirty one for the prime. Thank you to Rui tier for the three dollars. Thank you to Herman for the three months. Thank you so much. Thanks, everyone. Sorry if I missed some of the resubs. Thank you to Plutonic Polter Poltergeist for the sub. Thank you to Evil Mr. Muffins. Let's manually castle. Monster, they call me Dolan. Thanks again. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you, King of All Legends, for the tier one. Thank you. Um, I lost 20 pounds. No, I did not lose 20 pounds. Good one. Um, the first loss will be 25, 2600 is my guess. Ah, uh, good. Done with the caffeine. I should be able to avoid the restroom for the next two hours now, hopefully, so we can really keep the speed run rolling. Uh, facial surgeon, did you get the sub to somebody? I didn't see it. Sorry. Um, I got them earlier. The broken jaw and all those other dudes. Um, thank you so much. I appreciate it. You have a great sense of humor, my, my man. Um, let's go D5. Let's go Bishop D3. Oh, let's go B4. Cut the knight C5 idea and knight B5 next move. Um, let's just take and take. Thank you to Lucky Luke Strikes for the 14. Thank you to CJ Fernand for the three months as well. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Um, I'm just going to go gobble the pawn on B6. And I think I'm doing well. Just take and take. I'm gonna go knight b5 and just take the pawn on d6 here. Thank you, just Harold for the two months. Thank you, Melvin Supreme for the three months. Thank you. Thank you so much, you guys. Glad you're enjoying the stream. Thank you. Um, let's go rook a1 and put some pressure on the bishop and the rook here. I think these openings will hinder me once I'm 2700. Once I'm 2700, it's going to start to get pretty dicey, I think. Um, especially with white. Let's go here. Oops. Once 2700, Kappa. Yes, Max. Exactly. Uh, what do I want to play here? Um, yes, the Budapest. The Budapest. Let's let's gamble. Yeah, okay, whatever. Oh, he declines the Budapest. Play E5 and D4. Or, sorry, D5 and E4. Let's go here on Bishop B6 and just castle. Sanitation Engineer, yes, because these openings are garbage openings. So, yeah. Um, this is classic, you know, classic Pythagorean theorem. Uh, Pythagoras taught us, you know, a thousand years ago, more than a thousand. When was Pythagoras? I guess that, you know, the right triangle, the 90 degree triangle is very deadly in the game of chess. Okay, I want to I want to play the uh, Italian here. All right, I have to play the exchange French. Yeah, see, this is going to be a problem once I'm 2700. Oh, this guy takes with the queen. He's mad that I'm playing to make a draw with the exchange French. He's mad that I'm playing to make the exchange French. Pythagoras was like 2,200 years ago. Okay. He was 200 BC? Fair enough. Okay. Just castle the knight c3, knight e4. 
And then Pythagoras said, GG, easy. <laughs> 200 BC was not 200 years ago, chat. I get that. I get that, chat. Let's chill. There's a 102 IQ, yes. Just gonna take the knight here. I think to I am Mac J for the um uh uh for the for the prime. Thank you so much. Thank you to Mountain Day for the two months as well. Thank you so much, you guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. Let's go C3, Bishop C2, and Queen D3. Wait, is that Joe Exotic? What? Okay. Um, okay. Um, I'm gonna play Bishop B3 here at the night. Um, I guess I'll take. These people don't know what they're talking about. Pythagoras was 500 BC. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I go here now because now he can't move the knight because he loses the queen. I'm threatening to just meet him on the diagonal. Go, I think I'm gonna go here. Takes, I take. If takes, I feel like there's probably some sack here that's winning. I'm just playing normal people. I'm in the pool. I'm just in the pool. Um, no, I don't own any AMD, but I sure I'm glad that I sold sold Intel before the whole crash occurred. I might rebuy Intel soon though. Let's go Queen H4 and Rookie 5. I'm going to sack and play rookie six. Let's go rookie six. I'm going to play rook. Uh, I go check and I have rook g6, queen g6 coming to queen f5, rook d5. Um, Chad is m messing up uh, Pythagoras and um, Euclid. By the way, speaking of speaking of Kodak Eastman, I didn't even know they still existed. It's crazy that they still exist as a company. I just assumed they have long since died out. Um, okay, um, let's play the Grob again. Grob's been working well. Oh, I meant C4. Okay, whatever, I'll go G5. Just take when I see three. Oh, let's go E3. I can take the bishop at some point. Music louder. Yeah, again, you guys, apologies for the music if it's too soft or the TTS is too soft. Um, once I go to LA, I'm going to really work hard on the sound settings because I will have my AMD Threadripper out there, or at least that's my plan. Um, so once I have the new setup and everything, once I'm in LA, then, um, then I'll really, I'll work hard on it. It's going to cheat too. AMD Threadripper for uh, for board game. Yeah, what is it? It's, they, as the saying goes, it's... Um, it's like $10,000 computer for a platform game. Is that the saying? I forget what the saying is. Um, it's like, it's, uh, uh, there's, there's some common theme. Everyone's like $10,000 computer for platform game or 10,000 computer for something. Um, $10K computer for a 1,500 year old game, right? Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, why did I get the Threadripper? Because actually you do need uh, the computer engines like Leela and Sockfish. You do need a lot of RAM. You do need a computer. Um, you need a, you do need um, a serious computer for it. Let's take. Um, let's just take and take the pawn. But I will play. I don't. I don't know. Minecraft just isn't my kind of game, honestly. I don't know. I yeah. I said the wrong thing. Yeah. Let's play for my ceiling. Yes, I need it for my ceiling. Let's go d5 and knight here. Here, what did I say? What? 
Oh, I'm making. Oh, you got you guys. You guys saw I was being serious. Yes, you guys. Yeah. Play F4. <laughs> I thought I said something bad, and you're like, <gasps> like. I mean, I'll 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 do my, I'll try Minecraft. I just I, I've watched it. It doesn't seem. It doesn't feel like my kind of game. Go here and take the pawn. Let's get together and be all right. One love. One life. Let's get together. Be all right. I have not tried Portal. I might try Portal down the road with Lex, actually. Let's get together. Am I still in LA or I'm in Florida? I'm in Florida right now. I'm going to leave in about six days. I'll start to drive across the country. Thank you to Beepouch24 for the Prime. Thank you to Maxwell Duck for the Prime. Thank you to Sir Edward Norton for the Prime. Um, should I just take the brook? Come back. Nice voice. Don't quit the chess job. I think what you meant to say is terrible voice. Don't quit the chess job. Because if I had a nice voice, then I should quit chess because I make much more money as a musician, as a singer. Uh, he goes e3 um what can i i guess let's go here let's play let's play king e7 yeah no no i know you guys are joking i i know you're oh you're right actually average singer doesn't make a lot that's a fair point no that's a good point that's a good point yeah an average singer it's a pretty pretty rough lifestyle Bishop G7 and takes. Why do I drive instead of flying to LA? Mainly because I, I I don't know. I, I didn't get tested, but like I felt quite sick. I mean, in like the last, I, I felt better the last like three days, but I felt like as soon as I flew back from LA to Florida, I felt sick. I mean, I, you guys saw me streaming every day. My, my voice now is fine, but my voice was a little bit off. I had phlegm, some other stuff, and I, I, I don't know. I don't know if I had it or not, but I I I felt like I got something when I when I when I when I flew across the country. Um so that yeah, how's my taste fine? I'm not saying that I got that specifically, but I got sick from traveling and, and being in airports and flying. So I'm very leery about that and that's why I figure it's safer to drive. Now maybe I'm just insane and out of my mind and it's not okay, but that's my actual take. Thank you to Miki again for the prime. Thanks so much, appreciate it. Uh, I'm up two juicers, right? Or no, I'm only up one. Whatever. Who cares? I'll just sack it anyway. Driving isn't better. You're still going to come in contact with people. Really? I don't know. I don't know. If I just drive... I, like, I'm, I'm one of these guys where I just drive. I just drive. You know, I, I drive like it's... Na well, not... I don't drive like it's NASCAR because I don't go 200 miles an hour. But... But... But, I mean, like, I, I drive where it's like you drive, drive, and you stop. Drive, drive, stop, get the gas, use the restroom, get back in the car, drive another like five hours. Do that nonstop, basically. Oh, he, I thought he played rookie one. I was about to go queen one and hang my queen. That would have been very poor. Let's go rookie four here. And don't worry, guys. I won't be going. I won't be driving straight. My mom will. My, I'll, I'll catch up with my mom in Amarillo. Play rookie one here. Not going is the safest option. Again, you guys. I I've told you many of my reasons for doing it. Um, I kind of I, I like LA. I want to be close to my my grandmother since she's probably in the final months of her life. I want to be close to my mom because she's going to be out there till the end. Um, also esports gaming, as we, as we know, um, we know that, uh, it's the center, uh, LA is the hub of all of it as well. So there, there are many reasons. Go here in castle. This castle here. I'm not worried about earthquakes. Just take and take.
Joe Rogan to Texas and Hikaru to LA. Oh, is Joe Rogan moving to LA? He's moving to Texas? What? Okay, let's just attack. Let's fling fling the pawns up the board. Besides, as I said, you guys, if, if I'm only going out for four months, so if I don't like it in my time out there, then I'll just come back to Florida. So, um, go B5 here. And rook A4 next move. Okay, he's trying to attack. I think I'm just going to go H4 and close it down. Go Bishop A3. Let's go Rook H Rook A1 and, and hit the pawn. Let's go Rook A1. Let's go C5. Uh chat, I'm still gonna keep East Coast hours though. Like I'm still gonna keep East Coast hours. Now I take I just fork everything here and I'm just winning. I'm renting in LA, yeah. Let's just take with a rook. Now, what's a lie? What's a lie? Sorry, what's a lie? What, what's a lie? Let's just take. Queen d2, king h3. <laughs> oh, east coast hours? That's, that's a lie? No, that's totally true. I, I mean, I, I don't know. You know, I'm one of these people where I've also never had... Um, I've never, like, kept schedules, per se. So, like, I mean, like, I don't care. I could go to bed right now and stream at 2 a.m. And it's like, okay, two, what's the difference between 2 a.m. and, like, 2 a.m. and, like, 10 p.m.? There's no difference to me. I've never been a person who goes by set schedules. Um, okay, I got to I gotta focus and not play bad stuff. Um, let's, let's play Italian Four Nights. I try to live by a set schedule now that I'm streaming all the time. So, I'll just make my schedule set where I, where I wake up at, like, 6 a.m. I just boot up and stream at 6 a.m. Why not? Oh, why does this dude keep playing H6? He's supposed to play Bishop C5 and let me play the Jerome. Um, thank you, Adventure with Peaches for the two months. Thank you so much. Thank you, C3RR3 for the uh, for the two months. Thank you, Ubatsu with the five bucks. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Take. Play h3. Stop Stop the pin here, importantly, and I'm just castling next move. Uh, this opening is good. It's just we're talking about the Grandmaster level. So, like, at, at the more intermediate levels, these openings are completely fine. Thank you to Zelka9 for the two months. Thank you to Life Will Fall for the Prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. I think I'm going to stop at 69. I think 13 more wins. You seem like a person that's always happy. I'm not always happy, but you guys make me happy. So, um, thank you so much for that. I'm going to take and maybe try to do this. I'm going to go E5 and take. Like, I, I'm, I'm, ooh. Okay, well, there's a Botez Gambit. What are we up to? Is that 57? I think that's 57. He wants a rematch. I don't want a rematch. Um, what can I play this bad? E4, I can play Ali. I can just go back to Scandinavian here. Everybody today is playing E5. They're not trading pawns. I don't know why everyone... What is everyone doing? They refuse to trade on D5. In a queenless run, I don't know. I, I, I would think in a queenless run, I could probably get to 2300 maybe. Maybe, maybe 2300, maybe. But I think 2300 is the upper bound, upper bound. I'm not even sure I can get to 23, honestly. I don't know where I can get to. 
That's wait, why is that a flex? You guys think that's a flex? Well, but Chespa, you're talking about bullet chest, not blitz. You're you're talking about bullet chest, not blitz. Um <laughs> I'm surprised you guys think 2300 is flexing? Wow. Cause when I think when I when, when I say twenty three hundred, I feel like that's all. I, I mean, I feel like if I was flexing, I'd be like, I can get to twenty five hundred. Wow, really? Okay, I guess we have different perspectives, huh? Fair enough. Wow. Wow. Okay. Fair enough. Wow. Hmm. Cause I I really thought that if I if I was trying to flex, I would have said twenty five hundred, not twenty three hundred. Huh. Huh. Fair enough. Um, well, I mean, mainly what I was saying... Okay, first of all, let me give you guys a, a lesson here. So this bishop on h2 is permanently dead. It's walled off by the, these pawns, so the game is basically over. This bishop can never come into the game, so it's locked behind my pawns. And these two pawns prevent the bishop from ever being developed. Um, okay, I'm going to try to play this game in a theme so you guys see it. But basically, the bishop is dead. It can never come back this way because the bishop on f2, this big pawn, prevents the diagonal, and the pawns are guarded. So the pawns wall the, wall the bishop off, and it's just permanently dead. Uh, so right, so as, as far as the question goes, um, I mean, it's been chess for as long as I can remember, honestly. Um, like, try to think. What did, what did I, I mean, it's just been chess forever, really. For as long as I can recall, it's just been chess. But what I would say is like probably the time that I spent on Netflix and those sorts of things is specifically what um is specifically what I uh, I don't don't do like like I I, I haven't I, I started dark and I just stopped watching dark because my life twenty four seven now is Twitch like that's that's literally all I think about. Um, let's go check. Let's go check. Check takes. Oh no. Let's let's go check. Check and takes. Yeah, no, I mean, I do, I do think about chess, obviously. But what I'm saying is, um, like, I, I would watch Netflix or like watch sports. But of course, sports is gone. So, so yeah. Uh, if I played Chu without a queen, I would lose a hundred times out of a hundred. Um, that's just reality. I would. Oh, I meant to go e4. Um, okay, I guess I can still play f3, king up two. No, no, I'd lose to Chu and blitz a hundred out of a hundred. Not even a question. Uh, as far as people leaving California, but I mean, this is, but like, isn't this the argument everywhere? Is that like, you know, it's like they, they leave California, they leave New York to go to like Tennessee and to Texas and all these states. Uh, that's a free bishop, my friend. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm skeptical. Let's go E4 and E5, I guess. Uh, Tennessee has two E's, two N's and two E's. I do like Tennessee. I mean, I, I will always root for the Tennessee Titans. They are my football team, and they have been for a long time. So, I mean, like, Nashville is a very popping city these days. Wait, y'all don't, y'all don't like your country music? Okay, fine. Let, I'm sorry. You guys asked for it. Um... Let's do it. Okay, here we go. Well, here we go. Here we go. You guys asked for it. Okay, actually no, I should play something else. This isn't the this isn't classic. Let, let's go. Uh, here's um, 
Here's a better one. No, Reba is amazing, though. I mean, Reba is, is, is amazing. Great artist. Let's go Queen D1, Bishop B2, and Castles. You guys, it's one song. I'll change after this. I know I'm not moving in sync, I get it. Yeah, actually, this is too much. This is too much. Okay, let, let me go back. This is too much. Sorry, it is too much. I'm not in the mood for it. Um, I'm really not in the mood for it. Um, I think I'll just play like this guy's playing quite well actually. I guess I'll go Queenie One. Let's go Bishop H4, Bishop G3. I'm actually playing this badly. This is not a good game by me. Played country but not Jolene. That's true. Jolene is uh, of course classic. Let's go here and take. I'm not playing this game well. This is not not pleasant. I'm actually in some trouble here, so I got to move quickly. That's a bad move, though. Okay, let's go Queen D1, try to trade the Queens here. Now I'm way up on the clock, so things are starting to go well. Let's go Queen E2, maybe work F1 next move. I should be doing pretty well. Okay, next game coming up. Thank you to Ice Psychonaut for the for the uh thank you to Ice Psychonaut for the two months. Subbing despite occasional country music thing. Thank you to Face 4A with the Prime Pringle Joe for the three months. Don't mind me just extending my free chest loves here. Thank you, thank you to Fulma HG for the three dollars again. Um, thank you to Saint Pingu for the five dollars as well. Thank you so much. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. Ah yes, the law of Nero Ditsky. Compliment your low-rated opponent and they will prove you wrong. <laughs> Really? Okay. Dude, it's your move, Posito, so you gotta move. Okay, he must have known who I am. Uh, let's play Scandinavian. Team Scandi for the next, like, couple of black games. Uh, let's go C6. 
Go bishop f5, e6, knight e7, knight of so pretty standard stuff here with bishop d6. Oh, uh, let's play h6, I guess. I don't know if I take... I think I'm just going to attack him. G5 and take. Let's go G4. Okay, now that there are tricks, because knight G4 is coming. I can't even draw my arrows properly. Um, let me just take and go... Oh, but it doesn't work. I'm going to castle. Because if I play knight E3, it's an amazing shot. Queen D4 hitting my rook and my knight, and then it's going to be checked. Um, that move I'm not so sure about, so I can just check. Hit the queen, hit the rook, I take the knight. Next move, queen guards the knight if he moves it up. Do I have a shift at Orange Julius after him? I love Orange Julius. That stuff is amazing. Oh, man. Thanks for the reminder. Oh, I could go for, like, the classic. A classic one right now. Oh, that would be amazing. Oh. Uh. Thank you to No Yes 420 for the uh, for the Prime. Thank you to All Pack 2 for the Prime as well. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Let's go check. And now I have Rook H1 checkmate. If he blocks, I just take with checkmate. Can I do a lightning speed run bullet? Yeah, I could do a bullet chest speed run at some point. Um, that's not out of the question either. That would be a lot quicker, obviously, as well. Yugnex says, wait, why did my prime not come through? I don't see it. Thank you to a DVD for free for the two months. Thank you to Iazzi with the prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I'm going to play this for the next, like, five games, I think. It looks so easy when you do it. Again, like, I mean, it's, it's I could say the same thing about any game. It's like if I watch Shifu do his 90s and just get kills in Fortnite, I'm like, oh, well, I mean... It's just so easy. How can it be difficult? It looks so easy. It makes it look so ridiculously easy. What's wrong with me? But it's just not that easy. Um, uh, thank you to Bone Shock for the Prime. Phil for the Prime. PBM 1999 for the Prime as well. Thank you so much. Uh, Bond Cloud, I'm not playing in this, this set because the Bond Cloud is not considered a bad opening. 90s are easy, though. Yeah. And yes, of course, you guys, those, those, those guys have played Fortnite for many, many years, too. It's not like they just played Fortnite yesterday or like Tifu is like he played PUBG, I think, and H1, H1Z1, I think it was. So, yeah. Thank you to, thank you to Dewpoint for uh, continuing to get the sub. Thank you so much. Or for gifting a sub. Sorry, my bad. Let's take with the pawn. Yeah, I think I go check. I go F5 next move. This is like Derrick Henry playing against high school defense. It still is, yeah. Let's go to G5, G4. Sodium attack or riot. I'll try to play sodium next game with white, sure. And now I can't take, so I, I hit the king. Now I'm just going to castle the king, bring the Druso over, double double stack, and I'm just going to sack, so why not? I am definitely a, a dog guy. Dogs all the way. I love dogs. Um, I guess I'll go here. Yeah, I'm, I'm a dog guy all the way. My grandmother always had dogs, so when I was growing up and I, I went to visit her, she always had she always had dogs. So I'm I'm a, I'm a huge dog guy. I love dogs. She had cats too, but I'm just I don't know. Favorite player on the Titans? I mean, my favorite player was obviously Steve McNair back in the day. Steve McNair and Eddie George. Oh, I did like Kevin Mawai when he was the center uh, for the for the Titans too. Air McNair, yes, yes, big fan of Air McNair. Oh, let's go C5. Let's go to C6 here. Maybe Bishop B7. I'm just playing something weird and dubious and random. Let's go to C4 and straight. Bring the knight back. 
I'm playing bad openings. I'm not. Slav is way too decent of an opening to play. Let's go out five, close this. I mean, this has turned into a decent opening, but it's more by accident than anything else. Queuing up for people only higher rate than you. That's not how it works. You have to. You can't. You can't cheat the system. If it's going to be a proper, uh, a proper, um, proper speed run, you don't get to pick the rating range. You just got to play whoever you play. Thank you to Dupe Point for the gifted sub. Thank, or I think I said that. Thank you to you next again for the three months of the Prime. Thank you to Prime Bot 1027 for the Primes as well. Thank you so much. Oh, I blundered another pawn. Oh my gosh. Yikes. Okay, let's focus a little bit. This is a bad position also. Let's go queen. I'm going to go here, hit the pawn, hit the queen. By Jugo Piano, I'm talking C3, D4 specifically. I'm not talking... Um, have I actually played a Jugo? I'm not sure I have. I think... No, I definitely have. Um, but I'm talking C3, D4 specifically, not C3, D3, the traditional Italian. Um, so so it, it dep depends. take and I take the rook next move yeah it's just over so it's gonna be a 62 I think Dino55 for the Prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, did I accidentally accept two games? Oh, I accepted two games at the same time. Oh, um... Okay, let's do this. Sorry, let me adjust it. I act... I'll... I'll um... Okay, let's go here. Um, let's play e4 at this one too. Oh, game aborted. Okay. Um, let's go here. Okay, never mind. Let's go d4. Let's go F3, maybe just develop normally. How am I doing? I'm doing well. How about yourself? Football as well. Let's go Bishop H6. If trade, I just take. Let's go King H1, maybe G4, maybe just D5. I think I'm just gonna play knight g3, maybe f4, maybe d5 next move. Thank you to Jackson Sings for the prime. Thank you so much to Jackson Sings. Thank you so much. Hope you're doing well, man. Thank you for the, thank you for the sub.
Uh, OMG, you're the best player I've ever seen in my life. My grandfather thought. My grandfather thought he's a good grandmaster. OMG, you keep going, man. I don't think you possibly lose the game. Maybe I don't know when's the last time you lost the match. Who's your grandfather? Who's your grandfather, dude? You just said your grandfather is a GM. Who is he? Who's your grandfather? <laughs> me, 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 me. Yeah. Tell us your family now. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm just going to play Rook D1. Maybe H4, H5, or just... I'm going to go H3. Go F4, maybe E5, F5, D5. Rui Lopez is my granddaddy. I'm 95. <laughs> Thank you, Sachu, for the five. Rui Lopez is my granddaddy. If Rui Lopez is your granddaddy, man, that means you found the elixir to life, and you're like, you're not 95. You're more like uh, 395. <laughs> um, at least, at least, at least 395. I think I'm gonna go like queen f4. I want to take it, maybe go e5 at some point. Uh, make your own subreddit. Joke, we actually have a subreddit. It's uh, it's r slash Hikaru Nakamura. We do have a Reddit, and I'm intending to do recaps every Monday. Um, if it becomes more active, I might do recaps more frequently, but at the moment, the plan is to do a recap every Monday. So I do actually have a Reddit, so make sure to go there and check it out. I have no openings named after me. Very few modern players do because just a lot of the openings have been worked out. We're, the innovations that we come up with are minor changes in um, a specific... Oh, no, it's got 1,000 members, doesn't it? Or am I wrong? What? Um, right? No, it's got it's got a lot. It's more got like 1,000, I think. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's got more than 47. There we go. Um, I just take and take on E7. Oh! Of course you should be learning more from him. You should be learning how to play endgames, dude. I saw that one. Yeah, I did see that one. Um, now I'm way up on the on the clock here, so I'm gonna win this game. Agreed. Thank you to Shindy for the prime as well. Thank you so much, Shindy. Yeah, I, I I have seen that. I mean, it's it's fine, but it was just very gimmicky. No, he said his uncle is Alexander Fishbein. He is a grandmaster. I don't think he ever won the U.S. Championship, but he very strong grandmaster and formerly um, he was like an endgame composer as well. Okay, let's keep staying on Team Scandy for now. Thank you to Nitsi for the Prime. Thank you so much. Thank you to my favorite number is 103. Thank you so much for the sub. Thank you to Chickadee Cheese for the Tier 1. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Play Knight takes E5. My coach is GM Moist Critical. Yeah, Charlie... I wonder what Charlie's rating is now. He keeps studying chess, keeps improving. Um, so it's, it's great to see. I'm going to play F6 and E5 here. Just build a big pawn chain in the center. My poor boy JB sitting in the trash can. Well, the funny thing is when I did, the, did it for beginners, I actually put the Scandinavian as a, uh, as a legendary opening. So, um, yeah. It's 1,000 now? Okay, not bad. I think if Charlie keeps working, I would say the long-term goal should be like 1,300. Thank you to Sean Jackson for three. Thank you, Kajaro with the Prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Let's go F5 here. Let's 
go here, hit the knight, offer the trade of the queens. I should be doing pretty well. Guazian. Thank you to Maniac.22 for the nine months as well. Let's play the Budapest. No, wait, what? No, wrong. This one. Um, I guess I'll go here on Queenie 7, maybe. Gonna try to take this pawn twice. Okay, let's just take... Oops, I blundered my bishop. Oh. Oops, I mean, I just wanted a piece. Ah, darn, he saw it. But he takes a good knight d3 and I get the checkmate. We're actually following the game between um, between Force and a Nim from PogChamps 1. A very critical game, which uh, Nim won to guarantee himself a spot in the championship bracket. And a game which ultimately ended up screwing over Forsen because when he lost the game to Nim, it cost him in the tiebreak against, uh, against BoxBox when he had black in the critical 3-0 game. Am I also going to do these garbage openings when I'm 25 plus? Yeah, of course. The goal is to get to 3,000, chat. If, I mean, the goal is to, the goal is to get to, uh, the goal is to get to, you know, get to 3,000. So, yeah, there's no stopping. No stopping. I mean, now if he takes the pawn, I just take the bishop. Now, I can make a check and I guess just take or take. Boxbox Box was lucky. He was losing in both games. Yeah, he was lucky in the two first games, but then in the Ar 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 Megadon game, the 3-0 game, he was actually, he outplayed Forsen. He was winning out of the opening. Nim versus Forsen. Essential chess lore. Indeed. Indeed. I concur. Starting rating was 1,000, I believe. I think it's 1,000. Now, this game also is turning into a difficult game to win. Okay, so he's trying to go for checkmate. Not easy to play. Um, actually, this is really unpleasant, actually. Oh, shoot. This is really tricky. I am up a juicer, though. I'm going to have to trade. I'm going to have to flag this guy. Wow. Incredible. I, I mean, surely he doesn't know end games, right? Hard to believe that he can possibly know end games here. Wow, he does know end games. Fair enough. I'm going to have to flag him. And this, my friends, is why you don't play the Budapest Gambit. But now I take and I go check and take. There's no way that he knows how to draw this endgame, I, I don't think. V very unlikely. Because now I can run the king back over. Chat this, is, chat, this is not a dead draw, though. Let's be clear. This is not a dead draw. Now, I, I know you guys, you're like, oh, but you said you will make a draw. Like, you know, this is not a dead draw. Although, I w actually, I would probably give a draw to um, to Dania here if we reach this end game. But in this case, I'm definitely not giving a draw. Wow. Not bad. This guy is not bad at all. Let's go here. Okay, but now I go here and I get to take the pawn. Chuck and I take. Yeah, this guy is definitely smurfing. There's no way a 1500 knows the Philidor technique. There's literally no way that a 1500 knows this technique. He's de okay. Well, he's definitely smurfing. 
There's no way that a, a 1500 does not know that technique. There's no way. Okay, let's keep going. Um, okay, let's play E4, play Knight F3 again. Okay, let's go for the form of checkmate. Oh, shucks, he saw it. Oh, well. Let's go here, maybe F4, Knight F3. You are smurfing. You're pretending you're lower rated than you really are. I know, I know, Chad. I know. Thank you. Let's go Knight F3, D4. <laughs> she wants to play five to chess chat not today but um i will be playing levy on the weekend i need to look at the rules and, and see how it is but i'll definitely be taking a look at at him at 98.7 accuracy yeah i mean the guy was obviously obviously not 1500 okay i guess i just take and go d5 here Just take an IC4, hit both the juicers at the same time. Gonna go an IC6 maybe, maybe an IC4 bat. I think I just go here and now I activate the pawns in the center of the board. Did I know Levy before streaming? Not really. I had heard of Levy before streaming because my stepfather teaches in New York City. So I had heard of Levy, but I didn't know him personally. I, the thing is, I've, I think I've only actually seen Levy once in person um, when I went to New York. Maybe it was last year, early last year. Not particularly, I wouldn't say, but we're not like we're not mortal enemies or something either. Uh, thank you, Dambro, for the prime. Also, we're not of the same generation. I mean, this is the other thing you have to realize. Is like, Levy's going to Europe. What? Wait, Levy's going to Europe. Wait, Levy's going to Europe. What? No, you guys are trolling, right? What? He's going to New Zealand. No, you guys are trolling. He's not going to New Zealand. <laughs> good one, good one. <laughs> He's deported. Yeah, Levy's a. Uh, he has an American passport. Okay, let's play Latvian again. This is what I showed for some with D5. Oh, did I accidentally hit rematch? I think I did. I did, didn't I? Whoops. Can I see six and just trade? Let's go queen eight, I just take. I want queen e5 at some point. Um, go f5, support the pawns, queen e5, f4 is coming, knight's bad. Bishop is bad on h5 too. He goes 90, 92. He cuts the he cuts the diagonal. I take. Just take, I guess. Just take. Should be winning. Um, I think I'm just gonna go rook b8 and hit the pawn here. Let's go here. Hit the pawn. Latvian is garbage for GMs because it's losing by force. Otherwise, it would be okay. But it's losing by force. There's that's the only problem with the Latvian. Otherwise, it's a great opening. Go C5, just consolidate and try to take with a rook next move. I mean, that's the only problem with it, is that it loses by force. Otherwise, it's a great opening. Losing by force means it's like plus two. Like, white's completely winning out of the opening if they know all the right moves. Let's go E3 and I'll take with the pawn. Let's just try to trade the bishops here. Checkmate. Okay, one more, you guys. One more. We'll do one more and stop at 69, I think. Okay, for this one, uh, let's play the Grob. Let's 
Sanitation engineer. What the dot dot dot. Yeah. And by the way, thank you to Danbro again for the four. I'm not sure if I mentioned that, but thank you for the uh, for the resub. Thank you, Danbro. Appreciate it. Okay, I'm gonna go a4. I did play bishop a3, and again, create the wooden shield. Let's go bishop a3. I guess I'm just gonna castle here. Do I think I might get banned for smurfing? The points are going to be refunded, first of all, so no. And then secondarily, chess.com knows exactly what's going on. Let's go F5. Yeah, I'm speedrunning uh, Cap the Dock. I'm, I'm trying to speedrun to uh, to 7,500. Let's go, er, no, I'm trying to speedrun to 3,000. What am I talking about? Sorry. Uh, I'm trying to speedrun to 3,000. Okay, let's just go takes. <laughs> 70, 70, yeah, I don't know why I said that. What's wrong with me? Go check and take the rook. 7,500 or shave eyebrows, right? Right, totally. Let's go here, rook up 7x move. Um, I guess I just go rook up 7 here. <laughs> 7,500, weird flex, yeah. Oh, uh, well, um, no, because how do I say this without flexing? I'm trying to think, how do, how do I say this without flexing? Um, I, I guess what I'd say, I, I'm, I don't know how, to, how not to flex, but I'm just that good. Let me put it that way. I'm just that good that even if they do it, I'm not literally saying what the exact moves are, okay? There, there you go. There you go. Okay, sorry. Anyway, that gets us to 69 and zero, I believe. Um, so I think that gets us to 69 and 0. Um, I'm gonna go take a short break now. I think I, actually I'm gonna get some coffee. Uh, we're gonna be playing subs I think in about an hour 50 with Levy. So I'll probably do a little reaction. Maybe play some Blitz as well. Um, and then we have the sub, subs coming up at 6.30. So I'm just gonna take a short break you guys and I will be right back. <laughs> 